Welcome to a new series. I'm your host, Bruce Threlkel, the Gig Farmer. We're going to tackle the square roll today. I call it the most solid of all rolls because it's a repetitive four note phrase. Up to this time, we've been doing the forward roll, which is kind of like three, three, and two to make eight notes to make your measure. We've done the up, down, or forward, backward roll, which was three, two, one, five, one, two, three. If you haven't seen those, you can look at my earlier videos and catch up. The up, down roll has three notes going up, or four, I guess, and three going down. So those other rolls, and most other ones like them, will have uh, three or four notes combined together. The square roll, the strength in the square roll, and the reason I use it when I sing a lot, and it's a great backup, it's also good for picking out melodies, we have four notes. And they repeat. Musically, the beat is one and two and three and four and. So if you notice, the one, two, three, and four are all played with the thumb. Thumb is on the third string for the first beat. Then you play the index finger on the second string. Then you go with your thumb to the fifth string. That's the two beat. The middle finger plays the first string on the and. One and two and is what I've counted so far. One and and then you have a choice. For right now, we're just going to repeat that. But later on, we're going to advance it to a different string just for the third beat. But let's repeat that three, two, five, one pattern a few times. And let's use our strum machine here at a slow tempo. Okay, so we're going to go thumb, index, thumb, middle. Don't be surprised if this is confusing at first because you've worked a lot on your forward roll and your up-down roll. And so your fingers are placed in a different context here, okay? Give yourself time to adapt to this. You'll find as you speed it up, you might suddenly be going back to a forward roll or a backward roll or a forward reverse roll. And then just, just stop, slow it down a little bit, and get back and discipline those fingers to be able to go three, two, five, one. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. It's also called the alternating thumb roll because your thumb alternates between third string, fifth string, third string, fifth string. Let's try it with strum machine now. One. 25 beats per minute. Two. Three. Four. Here we go. Stay on G. Three, two, five, one. Three, two, five, one. Once you've practiced that a little bit and feel like you can play it at that speed, maybe a little bit faster, let's add a chord. Remember, when you're practicing a new technique with the picking hand, don't worry about chords to begin with. Worry about getting that picking hand very strong. It's all about the picking hand. We have a number of chords that will work with this roll. For now, let's go to a C chord, our partial C that we learned. Same thing down here, three, two, five, one, alternating thumb roll. Play along with me, see if you can get that to sound real clean. If you can do that, let's go to the D7th chord. 
All right, the D seventh, it's first finger on the second string, first fret. Second finger plays the third string, second fret. By now, your chording hand should be pretty familiar with those shapes. If you've seen my previous 15 or 20 videos, you'll have practiced this quite a bit. Again, it's important to take chords that you're familiar with when you're trying out a new roll pattern initially so that you can focus on the roll pattern. The sooner you can look away, look at the camera and play, the better. Because if you're staring down at the banjo all the time to find those notes, the strings, then you're going to have trouble focusing on what the left hand is doing as well. You're also going to have trouble listening to what's going on around you. And remember, we're trying to get you up to speed where you can jump in a jam session and maybe play along with some songs. So it's very important to keep your head up. Once you get it, three, two, five, one. Look away. Look at your left hand and watch it make the chords. All right, let's try Blue Ridge Cabin Home along with this roll. And we'll go at 30 beats a minute. One, two, three, four. G chord. Work on that, give yourself some time to adjust from the previous rolls you've been working on. Because as I said earlier, this is a different kind of feel when you're using your thumb every other note. But that's what makes it such a solid roll, because you are alternating your thumb. In the next video, we're going to tackle the fourth string. And we've got a uh, new surprise regarding the C chord. We're going to start playing all the strings, so we're going to learn the full C chord. See you in the next lesson.